What's up guys? So yeah, it's me again and I'm back at my house. Yeah, I just came back from Thailand and as I promised I'm gonna do another video describing the <coughs> sorry. <coughs> Have an issue. <coughs> sorry about that. That's how I was saying. I'm gonna do another video talking about the deck which I built. So basically the last two videos was the 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 trip was actually like how I went to that and please ignore what I said. I thought the music would like last forever, but it actually didn't last for the last part and at the end I said something right on like shit look look at this oh my god did the you just ignore the part okay I was really, I was trying to be sarcastic. I'm serious. So yeah, I'm gonna go through the deck and hope you guys like it. First uh, I decided to sleep the free clan cards. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's called clan card. I found it out. It was like on the box and yeah. <coughs> this is Dragon Empire and on the other side it's like showing the Kai which I, it's the same thing as this and I run there's no point showing it because it's the same thing. For great for I run one one. The one of these I don't know what's it called but I'm more this freaking Dragon Knight. Not that camera Dragon Knight though. It's like a freaking human in the night form. The skill is like retire unit. Yeah, because by this deck, like, focus on the real guard. Yeah. Next, the... I run two... I stick to two... The... the what's it called? Um... Oh my god. I forgot the, this shit. Okay, I just went... Shit, I forgot the name. It's called, um... Vortex Dragon Desire. Yeah, Vortex Dragon Desire. Uh, I stick to two of these, because, yeah. Now, I just gonna basically like this, when I strike, I will use this to play the cards because it doesn't say it has to be another copy of this, it can like be anything else, so yeah, so I just want this to just for the use, so yeah, uh, I basically use that as a like, as a weapon, so I can't feel, sorry for both of those, no, next I run through of Draconic Overload the Ace, which is pretty good, Yes, because I do want to run, like, run four of those because I do really need it. Um, plus I got something else that's that can like almost do the same thing. Mm, and it's a free great tree. And this guy need to minus one giant check, which is like a great tree. It just it has the logo of a great four, which is a fucking piece of shit. Don't tell anybody. I just swear. I don't know why I keep on sorry today. So yeah, next we stick to the number like. The two or four of this guy, which is very good, is like complete seal your like perfect guard. Plus, you your trigger will be notified. But you might want to use it in the like last turn because the final turn because you need to push your opponent to fight damage. Only the trigger will be notified. So yeah, in case you put a huge trigger that you hit it the most, like how my friend just beat me, like oh yeah, I got a huge trigger. Second time, I got a huge trigger. I was like so pissed off. I was, like, how can you get that two times? I don't know. Two times, two different turns, and I actually get it, which is like so crazy. Next, I run one rebuff. Yeah, the reason why I run one only because I, I don't think rebuff will really be that useful on my deck, which is quite bad because I don't like still with the real cards for the. Because my deck is like focus on the attacking, so I don't like still with just leaving this guy attacking, which is not really that good. Then I run two. The cross, which is the axe. Yeah, because the reason why I run to is that the skill you know, legion and then the personal blast and yeah, which is kind of cool. And plus, when you legion, you get to search for a copy of the card, which is quite cool because the skill is like attacks. When he doesn't hit, you you can discard a copy of it, and your opponent has to retire two of his unit, which is two choice, either let the attack hit or to let the attack hit and he had to tell two of his units. <clears throat> then I run to the end, which is the vision made for this one. Yeah. Of course that's I have to run this or else there's no point I I, I use this card because I it doesn't you can't activate the effect without this guy. So yeah you know the DS skill this is the guy like which is about the same thing because this guy is a freaking great for our logo and this guy is a great tree. And yeah so, but the 
problem with this thing is they have the same cost, Color Blast 2, Color Blast 2, which I can prepare for that. Later on, you will see that I can actually use this skill without even Color Blast. <coughs> with the next video, in the next video, I'll, tell you, I'll teach you a tactic, which is I found, I managed to find out without with myself, without even any help. The tactic was quite useful though. Mm, I'll talk about it in the next video. Next, I run three. Mm, what's it called again? The legend, yeah. <coughs> legend is very good, but I decided to run two of them because I had to take out one space for rebirth, which is quite hard decision. And yeah, legend, you know, gets fifty thousand power, but I have to discard a freaking great tree for the power and. But you get to step back out as long as you like. You one plus one, which is okay, better than the old time one, I guess. Because you get try to plus one at plus fifteen thousand power, <coughs> and next I want three bar. The bar is a, a good unit. It's like, for example, <coughs> he is one of the key card that will. Help me with the DM for the video. He's it's quite good. The skill for him is like you move one. For example, like DM is in a drop zone, you need to like get, move it back to the deck, and he gets this guy gets ten thousand shield, which benefits both sides because I can use the skill. I can use another card skill, drop a great shield, and then I'll search for this guy, and then I uh, he gets another ten thousand shield, which is. Good for guarding in the sense that I can buy the card that I wanted to perform the same skill again, which is very good. Next time, I run for Wizard Lord, which is like a f the same skill. It's just the cost for the card it's lower by one. It's kind of plus one. Last time, the, the old Wizard Dragon is called plus two, and you only get to retire grade two or below unit, which is the same thing as this one. Mm, so, yeah. Next, Nehalem. Nehalem is the guy who like improves like the most, I guess. He's like a. Um, he will be like the main booster for the the DN or the legend for tactic. <coughs> Sorry, maybe some throat issue. The, the Nehalem, the skill is like. Um. He gets he he gets uh, like three thousand power while the vanguard which is like gets plus five thousand power which is good because the I can stand him back the end I can stand him back out and if I call to it 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 get like at ten thousand power which is very scary and plus if I pull a trigger it will be worse and the guy who faces the game will have totally no chance at all. No chance. So yeah, it's the same. So I, I prefer my deck to be attacking though because most of the cards are like focus on the because it, my deck depend on the rear guards to like give me the power that's why I don't use rebuff because he will like seal with the chances like he'll prevent me from adding power even though it like benefits itself only which kind of like selfish I guess I didn't even know why I didn't even know why Bushi wanted to make it so bad. I thought like rebirth like rebirth unit would be like better like for example I can not open the rebirth and I can like baby oh that would be so good. I will like run a deck that's everything that's reversed. I'll be like I will be like oh my god you're kidding me. I had to lock my rebirth for his skill. Oh my god, that would be so good. I would I'd definitely Alright, go but definitely not go against that. I'll be the first to get that. Next, which is the freaking, not the freaking one, it's a freaking good one. The, not really freaking good, but yeah, it's like the Ammon, which used to be a great one, that's not a perfect guard. Ammon, last time, its skill was like drop and draw, which is the same thing as Gujo, the, the guy who drop to a great the draw trigger, which is pretty sad. And yeah, and I feel much sadder for the guy who dropped from grade 3 to grade 0 to a critical trigger. Like, okay, I feel sorry for them. Sad life, man. I bet it's not been behaving very well, and nobody's using it. And it's very popular. It's not very popular, I guess, because there's a whole lot of reason he dropped down for a good two, good zero. 
bad for Shiro. You should have make it a great shit in the first place. Yep, you humiliate him so badly. Okay, back to the topic. I am on this guy is like for example okay, the skill is when you use a you you neutralize attack and there's a if there's a copy in the drop zone, you get to discard a card and you draw another card. Which good I guess and and yeah, you do need to pay a cost. Like for example if you use a normal for a card, you still have to draw another card. Just like you do need you just like perfect card like that, you don't need to do you need to discard a card. But this time you can discard a card to draw another card, which is good I guess. Yeah. Those other perfect guys are discard card and you don't get to draw a new card, but this card is like very good. Because you get the benefit of changing cards. Other like perfect cards they don't give you they don't tell you discard a card which Next the Legend Soldier Gojo, which is the one of the key cards for the DN's effect also. Because it's quite He's like the most important one. Without him, the whole technique won't work. So Gojo's skill, like Gojo's skill is like, um, wait, was it Conro? Yeah, it was Conro. Yeah, Conro's skill is like, by discarding a great tree, you you can search your deck out the one card with Overlord instantly and add it to your hand, which I can use that skill to search for the end back. Yeah, and the second skill is like. You retire this unit and choose on choose on your unit when it attacks you get the counter charge too which is like you flip over two like flip over two flipped flipped flip the um counter blast cards which is very good. Okay, I pretty much just give away the technique, but yeah I'll still talk about it. Next I'll run to Dragon Dancer Monica. She's okay, I don't really use her though, that's why I died. Anyway, she's not really like part of the plan. Other people, one of my subscribers called Kao Chatexu is like, he, she, he said that it's quite good, but nah, dude, I think it's okay though. Not trying to insult you. Okay, next, I run for Bar. Wait, what's Tar? Oh, it was Tar. Tar was like, a, he improved from a Freaking grade zero critical trigger to some kind of laser soldier guy because he looks so horrible in the new one. I was like, okay. At first, I thought it was like some new guy that tried to copy Tar, but it was like actually Tar evolved into something worse. Oh my god. Okay, Tar is like counter blast one, solo blast one, which only you get to use it one turn, one time only, one time a turn. Skill is you can choose one unit and plus four thousand power, and you get to look at the top five cards of your deck and search for. And if you have a good tree with Overlord in its name, and yeah, you get to show it to open and draw. Which you can tell from this deck, everything is like supporting the great tree. Which that's why I run the personal blast cards because you have a high opportunity to like get the cards because you have all these cards to support you. Like look at the top five card and discard a card and draw a freaking new card. And that's why. I prefer just that, like focusing on depending on real cards. Without them, the whole technique will work. Yeah. Next, like a bull. It's a freaking. It's like a like a bull. A scary bull, which is very scary. It's like some kind of wild beast. And this is the sad guy who dropped from a great tree to a great hero. Sad bull. I feel sorry for you. So that's a critical and there we go. Oh my favorite trigger and somehow I don't know why. They make it look so cool compared to like that's like oh when I when I was like going through the deck I was like the first thing I wanted to see like was him. I didn't know why but I was like oh I was looking forward to see this guy's face. No oh, the way they do it like, like attract me somehow. Next four trigger which this is a card that no offense though. Second RPS. This guy's Agnes. Nah, actually, no, nah, you know what? I think she's, the, she's still the second Agnes. Whether it's she or he. Because. I don't know, but. She looked different from last time. Last time she looked better, now she looks weirder. Yeah. She looks more like a Buddha right now. It's a kind of. Like. I don't know. 
So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Wait, no, let's take one more card. So yeah, the starter which you know the skill is like counter blast one. You search for card with your overlord in his name. Which yeah, that's pretty much everything I guess. So hope you guys enjoy the video and peace out. And I'll tell, I'll do another video about the tactics.